The new moon on December the 4th brings the key energy theme of that there's now an inner awakening unfolding where you actually awaken even more. It's like an inner portal is now being opened throughout this new moon energy. So in this video, I was guided to share with you five key things that I think you should know about this exciting time we're in right now so you can really make the most out of this inner awakening. So stay tuned. Hello to beautiful soul, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Super excited that you're here. And in case you don't know me, my name is Kay Sanders. I'm a divine messenger and celestial healer. Here to assist awakening souls on their spiritual awakening journey so they can really awaken to their power within, step into their power and create a life of more success, abundance and freedom all while living their life on purpose. Now, if that's you, I do want to extend an invitation. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I release new content. So with this new moon on December the 4th, there's also then the closing of the eclipse gateway because then around the 4th or 5th is also a total solar eclipse, which is then really the closing of the gateway of the eclipse gateway, which opened around the 18th or the 19th of November. So if we've really gone through a really powerful period right now of deep inner cleansing, deep inner awakening. And now this is really the key energy theme also for this new moon is really that that inner awakening now is unfolding because if you have done your work and even if you haven't consciously done your work you have been assisted on a collective on an energetic level to really awaken to cleanse out during this eclipse season i mean eclipses are really all about really that inner cleansing that you know really preparing yourself for that next stage in your life so we're really awakening even more. So I, in this video, I really want to share those five key things with you so you can really make the most out of it because I truly believe that we are at an exciting time. We are really preparing ourselves for what's to come next year. And as I was tuning in for next year, and I'll definitely do a video about that uh, here very soon as well, it's truly going to be an amazing energy theme for 2021. And right now, everything that has been happening this entire year, leading up to this point right now and then moving forward is to assist us in really awakening to our own inner senses, our own divine self of who we truly are. So we can really become the next way shower, the, the leader, the person that impacts the world, that makes an impact in the world with whatever you feel called to do. But let me share with you those five key things so you can really know what is going on in, uh, with this new moon energy so you can really make the most of it. So the first piece here is that you also now have the deep inner desire to know yourself, like really to remember your soul's origin, where your soul has come from, who you truly are at soul level and what you're here to do. So you will then also experience that inner sense of awakening to the truth of who you are. So you may have already noticed something as of lately that maybe you feel like an inner acceleration in a way. And it really reminds me on an image that I saw online one of the a little while ago. It was a picture of being in a roller coaster. There was like an adult and there's a little kid. Now the adult is spirit like, yay, can't wait to really go down the, the roller coaster. And the kid is like, oh no. No, I'm scared. And that's us. That's our soul, right? So if you've been feeling that, that inner acceleration, like, oh my God, what's happening? You know, something is happening. That's what I'm talking about. Your soul is now waking up and you now have also that you may have also realized that maybe you've been questioning, who am I really? Maybe I've been looking a little closer, like, who am I? What am I here to do? So if you've had these questions or these thoughts of really uncovering who are you, who are you, what are you here to do, who are you at soul level, that's because you're being activated now. You're really receiving that inner activation, that inner awakening to remember who you truly are, who you are at soul level, what you're here to do. Which brings me into the second piece here, gifts and insights that you previously didn't know, that you have forgotten, now also become known to you. So what I mean with that is you may then also discover more of your divine gifts. Maybe your gifts are also accelerating, where if let's say you're a psychic or you're an intuitive, then you're noticing that your gifts are intensifying. That too is now happening too, because there's this inner acceleration happening to really tap into our divine gifts, to know who we truly are. 
You may then also receive insights into past lives. And maybe you didn't even have dreams or when you're in meditation, you're having glimpses of past lives that even though you have no idea where that comes from, you just feel that yet yeah, there's somewhat of a resonance there that yes, that feels, that feels familiar that you know. So these things then also start happening where you then also those have those past life insights. Maybe you are uncovering also some ancestral things as well. So basically your gifts and insights that you previously did not know now starting to come to the forefront as well, because it's also going to help you then to remember who you are. Like I said, it's all about that inner awakening and your soul is now at that point. Now, of course, if you are ready for that, now you may experience this inner awakening rather massively or just slightly. It really depends on where you're at in your life, how ready you are to that next stage in your life. Now your soul may not quite be ready to have this massive awakening. Maybe it's happening just in the smaller stage. It's perfectly fine. Whatever you're experiencing is just right for you because your soul may still need to learn certain things in order to really ascend even more and step it up, you know, have this massive awakening. But Nevertheless, you are awakening. You are starting to remember more and more of who you are. Now, this may not happen right on the new moon, but it's being activated within you. So then moving forward, you start to remember more. Even maybe now you're already starting to remember more of the things that you previously didn't know. Where then really soul aspects now start to come to the forefront as well. You may then also realize that you're looking at things from a different perspective as well. Maybe you are starting to have aspirations that you also didn't have before. Maybe you're feeling drawn to certain things that you didn't feel drawn to before. That's also those soul aspects that you have put aside, forgotten, you know, because of your, your whole awakening, your whole you coming into this world and uh, totally forgetting who you are. It's now all starting to come to the forefront again, slowly but surely, and maybe not so slowly. Maybe you are having these massive realizations. Like I said, wherever you are, whatever you're experiencing is just fine. It's just right for you. And if you would like to accelerate that a little bit more, if you're really saying, you know what, I do want to remember who you are, I want to invite you to check out a video. It's in the description below. It's it's a Atlantean frequency, light code frequency activation to really help you remember who you are. Now, I also did a video about the a reawakening of Atlantis. If you want to check that out as well to get some insights of what is going on right now and what uh, what your part is in this, I put the link in the description below. But if you really just want to accelerate your inner awake and check out that activation that Atlantean light code activation to really help you remember who you are if it feels in alignment with you then maybe you too had a life back in Atlantis and now you're starting to remember that as well because we're really here for that that greater awakening to really assist humanity in this reawakening into that more of the golden age of really being more of a living more of a heart-centered life so if you're feeling called to learn a little bit more about that I put the link in the description so check it out which brings me into the third piece here is you also now have the opportunity to really go within, to really go within and connect with that awakening part within you. Now, when you do that, the more you do that, the more you connect within, you then also rediscover more of who you are. Because oftentimes we're looking outside ourselves for answers, whether we're taking courses, reading books, watching videos on YouTube, or anything like that, or maybe going to friends and talking to them about what, what we're experiencing. The problem is the answers that you're looking for, the guidance that you're looking for, the insights that you are looking for, you will not be able to find them outside of you. It's a journey of going within. And now that these, this reawakening is really happening, that, that inner awakening, I really want to invite you, take some time and go within. Really take the time to meditate more maybe and really go within. It's like you want to get to know yourself again. It's like, think of it like you want to have some quiet time. Like when you're going on a date, right? You want to have some quiet time with that partner to get to know that partner. It's the same thing with your awakening self. You got to rediscover that. You got to get used to that side of you again. You got to, you got to get to know that side of you again. And by you really going within, taking time out to maybe go out in nature, unless it's too cold and you don't want to be outside, then it's perfectly fine. But maybe just go meditate more. Or just sit in silence, maybe have a journal with you and just really tune in and connect with that part within you. 
because then you also will have guidance that is coming forth. Maybe you have those insights. Maybe you will then really uncover what you're here to do because your soul is speaking with you all day long. Your soul is guiding you every step of the way. But if you're not really tuning in, it's very easy to miss the guidance that your soul is here to give you, to support you on your path. So now leading up to the new moon, on the new moon, and actually even every day, you have the opportunity to really connect deeply within, to get to know yourself again, to go within and really uh, connect with that awakening part within you. Because then the fourth piece here is then answers are forthcoming. Because all these questions that you've had up until this point, the questions of who am I? What am I here to do? What is that one thing that will bring me that deep inner fulfillment? What is my purpose in life? What is my soul's mission in lifetime? Why did I choose to come here at this time of, of my life? Why did I awaken now and not sooner? All of those questions that you might have, they will now also come forth if you take the time to really listen. So by you really going within, going back to the third piece here, what I mentioned, taking the time to really go within, then the answers are forthcoming because you are meant to get the answer that you're looking for. You're meant to receive answers, insights, and also clarity because the more clarity you have, well, then you have the power of choice. I always say awareness is the power of choice. When you have the awareness, which clarity gives you the awareness, then you can do something about it. So let's say you're really tuning in. You're connecting with soul and you're getting the guidance to maybe start a healing practice, maybe start a spiritual practice or start a business, maybe uh, learn a, sp a specific modality. That is then the next step for you that will lead you on your path. Now, you're already living your soul's mission in a way. It's just a smaller version of what you're really here to do. So you're already doing doing what you're meant to do. You're already on your path. You're watching this video. There, There's a reason for that. So you're already doing what you're meant to do. But now it's like when you tune in, you get the clarity. Then And the answers are really forthcoming. Then you have the clarity to do something about it, which is really beautiful because then you have the power to choose what do you want to do moving forward. And you have the power of choice. But it really starts with clarity and it starts with you really tuning in to get the answers that you're looking for. And then the fifth piece here is then you can adjust to your path ahead. So when you really tune into that awakening part within you, you take the opportunity to really get quiet and you get the answers. Then you have the clarity and then you can really look at your life. Then you can assess where are you misaligned to the guidance that you received. Right? Like I said, you have then the power of choice. So when you have the guidance, when you have the clarity, you can do something about it. So you can assess your life. Where are you not in alignment? Where maybe could you course correct, adjust, or change something? Or maybe pick up something that will help you move forward. So you can really then adjust to your path ahead based on the guidance, the insights that you have received by really going within. So you have it really within you to get the guidance from within. But just in case you're feeling blocked and you're still not quite sure of what you're here to do or anything like that or who you are at soul level and you want some really some outside guidance, some clear guidance, I do want to extend an invitation to you. I was guided to create a soul remembrance account record reading and I also have a life purpose activator reading where I really can give you the guidance that you're looking for around your soul's origin, your soul's purpose, your mission, what you're here to do, even insights into certain past lives that are affecting you from really stepping into that. Now, if that is of interest to you right now, I, because of the holidays, I do have a 25% off holiday special. So all the information is below in the description. If that really calls to you and you really want to get that clear guidance, check out the information in the description below. I would love to support you with the reading. But now you do have it within you too, though, to just get your own answers as well, to get some guidance. But if, like I said, you're really not getting the information that you're looking for, or you really want some confirmation or more detailed information, then I can assist you with the Akashic Record reading. And I would love to support you in that way. But now with this new moon energy and now the eclipse gateway closing, I do want to invite you with an action step. What I want to invite you to do is really take some time 
where you can be undisturbed. Maybe take a, take a, your journal with you, uh, light a candle, maybe play some nice music, some meditation music to really get centered and just put both hands over your heart because that's the, the seat of your soul. And then just close your eyes and just tune in. Tune into your heart. Really connect with that part within you that is now waking up, that has been activated for some time now, but now it's really awakening even more. Allow yourself to get still and allow yourself to just tune in. And then what you can do is you can call forth your soul. I like to say something as simple. I now call forth my soul. Please come and connect with me now. And I feel like an inner sitting up in a way. And then you can ask questions. You can communicate with soul. What is important for me to know? What am I here to do? How can I make an impact? What is that next step for me? Whatever question you have, you can ask your soul that inner guidance and you will get some answers. Now, if you're not getting answers, then that's most likely because your ego is kind of getting in the way. That's why I mentioned if you're having a hard time getting guidance, you can always reach out to me. I would love to do a reading for you. Like I said, information about the readings are in the description below. But just tune in and just communicate with soul and just give it some time and space. Now, you don't want to rush this, but really tune in and allow the answers to come forth. Now, it may not happen as soon as you ask it. Now, you may need to be patient, but also be open to receiving the guidance. You got to listen, trust and act. So you want to listen to the guidance. You want to trust whatever guidance you receive. And then the most important thing is you also want to act on the guidance, even if it's just a small, tiny little step. But you want to be in motion because when you're in motion, you will get into the next piece and then the next and the next. But I really want to invite you to take some time leading up to the new moon, especially on and around the new moon, take some time, go within. If you can do it every day to just tune in and connect, the better it will be. And even, you know, if it's not a new moon, you can still do this every day to connect and ask what is important for me to know today? What can I do today to make an impact? How, how can I serve today? How can I show up differently today? You can do this on a daily basis. That is really so powerful because then you're living a soul led life. And that's really amazing. Okay, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now be sure to check out the videos I mentioned to you earlier about Atlantis, the light code activation, and also about the reawakening of Atlantis. I think you're going to love the information that I was guided to share in those video videos. But I really hope you have a wonderful new moon uh, and closing of the eclipse gateway. I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Until then, make an amazingly abundant, successful day. Namaste.